morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very gloomy day so I decided to put up this little light box that my friend got for me so thank you queen. It's literally saving lives right now but this whole week is going to be super super dark and gloomy so this is going to be a lifesaver. Today is April 27th and it's Tuesday aka my posting day so I really need to hurry up and get ready. Lately I've just been sporting a lot of very natural looking makeup and what looks like my skin but better. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Today's sponsor is Merit Beauty. Thank you so so much Merit. This is my second time working with them and I'm so grateful but I'm gonna be using a lot of their products but if you do decide to use any of the products that I do mention I'll link their website in the description box for you guys. I do want to be transparent that I do make a small commission off of it so if you guys want to support my channel as well as myself then you guys can definitely go ahead but there is no pressure. So let's get into the skin but this is kind of what I'm working with a lot of flat red scars and just a lot of discoloration on my skin so the first thing you want to do is you want to moisturize your face so this is the moisturizer I've been using it's the CeraVe moisturizing lotion and I just like to press it in to the skin super glowy now because I did my skincare this is the Merit minimalistic and it's not necessarily a foundation or concealer but it really does cover up any kind of redness I have really really well so it works nice with any kind of acne scarring or discoloration on your skin it is really nice for just that one step swipe and then you're good to go so I like that it's in stick form and I'm using the color bisque all I'm doing is I am just applying it into sections i'm gonna show you guys the before and after but just wait like it looks so good and just kind of spot concealing normally i prime my face but i completely forgot to so i hope this doesn't ruin the look it's completely fine i think we will see i guess the next thing that i do is i take their brush so this is their brush number one and it's just an angled brush and it's super dense and really nice to blend out this cream product so i will show you guys exactly what i mean right now so i'm just lightly pressing because with acne scars, I feel like it's a lot harder to blend without product moving on the skin. And just remembering I'm using a very, very light hand when blending out the product. I really like the way that this brush is shaped too because if I were to go in with like a cream contour or something like that, like you can use it upside down kind of and just like press it in lightly. Do you guys see that? Like all the redness and any kind of hyperpigmentation that I have is completely gone now because of this product. So I literally am obsessed with it because of how easy and fast it is. These are probably going to be your go-to and especially if you're going to work, this is something that you can literally just put on and go. I just wanted to kind of show you guys the face on natural daylight very very glowy and it just looks like my skin and it makes me feel a lot more confident especially on days where i'm feeling a little bit more insecure about a little bit of my dark spots and pigmentation and things like that so thank you so so much to merit beauty for sponsoring today's video and let's get on with the vlog so i just finished adding everything in for the vlog as you guys can kind of see here uh, but i also uploaded my video for today so i posted my spring shop with me results like what i ended up getting you guys can check that out because obviously that video will be going up before this one does so i'll link it somewhere here for you guys to check out today i don't really have much planned aside from maybe clean up my room because guys the way that my room is looking right now i literally feel like a slob and i really couldn't sleep last night because i was just thinking about how cluttered my room looked so that is what is going on in my brain right now i do have a lot going on in my life so obviously i'm trying my best to kind of occupy myself not really overthink because that can get the best of us obviously with vlogging i'm kind of keeping myself accountable to just keep myself occupied one thing that i really want to do though is i really want to get a microphone for my camera because I notice when I watch my videos back, it's so annoying when I see or hear like muffling. And even though like my microphone has like something to protect any kind of wind and all of that, like I still feel like I can hear so, so much going on in the back. So I do want to buy a microphone. So I might place an order. I think it's like a good investment because then you guys will get better quality content. And I'm gonna go and quickly make some food though because I am very, very hungry. Um, and when I'm hungry, I get annoyed. So let's go. <laughs> so we are in my kitchen now. It is pretty late and I feel like I'm not 
full from my breakfast. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm making today. I feel like every single time I film, my fridge gets super loud. So I apologize, but I was gonna make some gnocchi. Um, these are some skillet gnocchi that you can just put on your grill. It's honestly the best thing known to mankind. However, I already have my mom's leftover stir fry, so I think I'm just gonna eat it. Do you guys have parents that kind of get sad when you don't eat their food? Like I feel so bad every time I don't eat her food. So I'm gonna eat that instead, but I just wanted to show you guys what I would normally eat. But yes, what I can do though is I can catch you guys up on my life a little bit because I'm going through a breakup, guys, and it's not the easiest thing, but this is what it looks like, and there's some beef underneath as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and microwave this. The way that I'm not a healthy eating person that is why i would never make a what i eat in a day maybe one day when i'm like finally ready to really change my eating habits then i will but right now i'm literally eating stir fry and i'm putting barbecue sauce in it like i think it's a fruity sweet and spicy flavor for me and that is why i always put it into my stir fry my mom's always like why why are you doing that but i'm like miss don't knock it till you try it okay <laughs> i have my little meal here so we are eating again stir fry with <laughs> barbecue sauce and i have my kombucha so we've been together for a long time so if you guys are going through any kind of breakup whether it be a romantic one or a platonic one where you're just like friends it is so normal for people to come in and out of your life and for people to come back into your life like it is completely normal i honestly still love this person so last week was just really really hard and i couldn't get my second video out so that is why i only posted one video and this fridge is so loud like you can hear it but i'm gonna go ahead and finish eating because i haven't touched it and drink my kombucha i'm literally wearing green with like a scrunchie right here zip scrunchies guys they're so nice and i just want to plug them as much as i can they're not sponsoring me or anything but they're like a small business and they were so sweet and i have it in the brown color and i just look like a tree right now but i'm here for it so Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Alright guys, so we are back in my room and I just saw that my video went live. It's 12.35 and my videos usually go live at 12.30. So if you guys don't want to miss any of my posts or my uploads, make sure you guys have my post notifications on and you guys will never miss a post. But I... I think my favorite thing about posting on YouTube is the fact that you guys actually comment and we can have a conversation. I think that's one of the best things and the best feelings. I know I'm still super small, but with my little community with you guys, like I am so grateful. I really love making videos on YouTube. I think I finally found like my calling and for the longest time I wanted to make YouTube videos and now I'm kind of letting it happen and for you guys to be so supportive of me, I'm so grateful. So thank you so, so much to everybody who subscribes, who comments, who likes and actually interacts with my content and makes this the reason why I like making videos and I'm so excited to see your comments so I'm gonna answer those and then I also need to respond to some emails because I didn't have time to answer them yesterday so we are gonna do that now I also need to clean my room guys I don't even want to show you but I will to be quite honest with you guys my room is not big it's really really small but i try to maximize my space however because i don't have a closet because i don't have any wardrobe my clothes i literally have to hang drawers here underneath my bed i don't know how i'm managing to put everything in there but i am maybe what i'll do is i'll look through all of my clothes and see what i can sell because i do have a lot of clothes that i just don't wear anymore <laughs> Wanna be there in the morning. Wanna be the one. My room needs like a deep cleanse right now, and I need to do it before my mom comes home. The way that my room is like so messy, I have laundry I need to put away. I have a whole mess here, just like with packages and 
all of that jazz. So we really need to clean my room. I also just placed an order for a new mic because my mic on my camera is just really not doing justice for me. So that's what I need to do. I also just posted a new pic. So go like that if you haven't already. So this is my little like nook where like all of my stuff is that I like to hide. So I have a lot of eyelashes from live when I did the collab with them. I have like all of my skincare, my makeup and stuff. Tell me why a drawer is out. Like I just, I'm so messy. Literally the last week, a little glimpse of what my life was like. I would be in bed on my computer or whatever and then just like throw whatever I'm not using on the floor. Like that's how down bad I was. So this is kind of the setup and the counter is finally looking like a counter.